I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? Supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. Shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you mean? Raymond, get out of the ring. you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. You needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. See me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How would your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. Uh. I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. 
I don't want you to embarrass yourself. So look, we're gonna start with a couple of low key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. tonight both fighters say they are primed coming off a very intense and passionate training camp and his opponent across the ring from Obregon Antonio Chavez okay guys we went over the rules in the dressing room let's touch gloves Scheduled for six. Chavez is a clear-cut underdog. There's no denying that. He's in very tough tonight. This is a step up. Today's graduation day, Joe. And if he succeeds here, it's going to be a good job in his future. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Decide to bring it. Headshot lands was a hook. Bishop's power has been shown off early on in his fights. Teddy, what effect could his power have early in this fight? Well, if he catches his opponent, it could be an early night. But if he catches his opponent and his opponent survives it, guess what? It could be a long night, fam. Chavez is left now getting into the mix. Good effective work with that straight right hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Up top with the right hand. Did you see that? He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not gonna work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. And somehow, some way, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gonna avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, this is gonna be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Kenny, back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fight. Heavyweight action headlining our fight card here at the Mexico City Plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. What a curious path it's been in the career of Andre Bishop. Right, fellas. Our middleweight Let's prospect fight. now fighting Touch him up his second go. fight as a heavyweight. He will do so tonight against Raul Castillo. Round one underway between Bishop and Castillo. You know, the word on Castillo is that he loves to get to the inside and go to the body. 
So we will watch for the naturally smaller man, Bishop, to utilize some movement and try to keep a distance. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, just kind of have the feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of those special nights. That's a king, let's go! Power puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can the well-conditioned fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher isn't targeting him? Well, move it. Get on his bicycle a little bit. Don't stay right in front. If that power puncher is the power puncher, that's his strength, but his... There it is! Oh, a good straight shot that time. Raul Castillo's looking up at his opponent. I'm always telling you to draw a straight line. That was a straight line right to the chin. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? Shoulders where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. Good step back counter punch there. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavy. And bang, and away he goes. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? Soap opera it's been for Andre Bishop, and now you can write a new chapter. His second win as a heavyweight. He knocks out Raul Castillo here in Mexico City. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? you cleaned up. Well, 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 will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, man. You too, Gus. <laughs> 